Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Patek Philippe 5500G Gondolo, nicknamed the Pagoda. This 1997 limited edition of 250 pieces in white gold can be seen and purchased on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe 5500G Pagoda. Now, Patek Philippe threw itself quite a few parties between the 150th anniversary in 1989 and the millennial special editions of 2000. The greatest occasion being 1997 when the company opened its new factory in Plan Les Watt outside of Geneva, and this watch was part of the festivities. 250 pieces issued. They were also issued in rose gold, platinum, and yellow gold, but given the presence of the applied white gold atop salmon dial base, this might be, and I, I believe very few would contest the point, the most attractive and desirable of that 1997 special series. Now the watch can be worn on any wrist. As, as you can see, it is quite compact. The watch is hard to describe dimensionally, although I will take a stab at it. The timepiece is 29.5 millimeters wide from nine to three, but not from nine to three, actually from the outside of one lug to its opposite number on the other flank. The watch is actually narrower in the middle because its profile is designed to evoke the early 1950s reference 2441 Tori Fell. The Tori Fell flared at the top and the bottom like this watch, which is nicknamed Pagoda. It's actually wasp waisted in the middle. It is slim, however, as the timepiece is only 9.4 millimeters thick, although its concave flanks create the appearance of a dramatic upswept girth. It's actually quite slim, being a full three millimeters thinner than a Rolex Submariner, which because of its flat aspect ratio, winds up looking thinner than this, don't be deceived. This is a very thin watch. It's also a very compact watch. At 40.7 millimeters lug to lug, you can wear this on a wrist as small as, in my estimation, 13 centimeters in circumference, meaning this is a tremendous piece for any man to wear, but it's equally viable as a unisex option. Now the timepiece features a beautiful and substantial tapered gloss, light brown, rectangular scale alligator leather strap. The edges are folded, the stitch is monotone. On the underside, you can see that there is a calfskin, and this watch has both a new strap and the latest in Patek Philippe pull tab spring bars, so you can easily pull the tabs inward, remove the strap for close cleaning between the lugs, or simply to swap shoes and change the look of your watch. You also note that the watch has a Patek Philippe faceted and polished spade style pin buckle for a low profile and easy on the fly adjustments, a traditional buckle for a traditional watch. The white gold case is remarkably complex. As you can see, it has almost a, a funhouse mirror quality about the optical finish of the flank, and because it is concave, and you can really get a sense of that better from head on. It has a dramatic wrist presence in spite of being exceptionally compact. You can also see just how dramatically domed, I, I don't know if dome is the right word, but, but arced. You can see the arch-like form of the cambered sapphire. It is incredibly high above the plane of the dial, and it curves dramatically to the point that you can look through one side of the watch and look out the opposite side of the sapphire without ever visually making contact with the hands of the timepiece. You'll also note that the watch is nicely anchored at the four corners by the flare and strong hard lines of the lug geometries. The lugs are wonderfully individual, each expressed as its own separate structure of the watch, almost anchoring it like the frame of a commissioned artwork. And the watch essentially is that. The dial is beautifully executed with diamond polished and hand applied stylized Roman numerals. You can see that there's a railroad track for the minutes outboard, beautiful white gold foy or leaf style hands at center, small seconds with its own miniature railroad style track for easier reading of the seconds, and a minimum of printing. All of the commemorative text is on the back on the dial, just Patek Philippe and Genève, the city of origin. Now the watch is more sophisticated inside than you might suspect, but first I want to show you the crown. There's a slight recess for the crown in the flank of the case that makes it a little bit easier to access it by hand, so that winding the watch actually becomes a pleasure. 
you, you wind up with your finger inboard of the lug, and it's a very sensuous experience. There's, there's something about the quality of winding this watch that goes beyond the simple quality of the movements action, the crown and the ratchet. It's actually the feeling that you're running your finger along the flank of the case, feeling its undulation, its sweep, and its swell. It's something completely unknown unless you own this watch. You'll never experience it on any other timepiece except this one, and it just comes down to the peculiar case profile. Now underneath that solid and satin finished engraved case back, we find a Patek Philippe Caliber 215 manual wind. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has 18 joules. It's quite slim in profile. 44 hours of power reserve. It features the free-sprung Gyromax balance architecture, so it's better able to take and hold a precise regulation as well as release bumps, disruptions, and concussions on the wrist better than a, a mobile index would. It's be better able to resist those bumps, the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Gyromax makes it tough and precise, but the COSC chronometer certification is unusual. It's not something you see often on Patek Philippe watches, but this timepiece is in good company. For instance, the 5101 10-day tourbillon chronometer. That watch was also COSC certified. Patek Philippe watches with a chronometer certificate are precious and rare, and this watch is all the more valuable, memorable, and special for it. A timepiece that hits on all cylinders. There's been a lot of talk lately with Basel World 2018 and the salmon dialed 5270P. Well, certainly didn't start the fire, and it may not even be the most appealing application of the type. See and decide for yourself, and possibly take home a new friend on our website.